What is going on everyone? I hope you are all having a fantastic day. So it's been a little while since I've made one of these versus videos that you all seem to love. And one head-to-head -head battle that a lot of you have been requesting is Chime versus Varro Bank. So today let's break down what each of these accounts has to offer, put all of their features head-to-head -head, and hopefully give you an idea of which of these bank accounts is the best option for you. All right, let's jump right into it. So as per usual with these versus videos, I did do separate reviews on both Chime Bank and Varro Bank. So if you do want a detailed breakdown of either of these accounts, then definitely check out those videos as well. Now with that in mind, it has been a little while since I made those videos. So let's brush up on what these accounts have to offer since a few things have changed and see how they stack up against one another. So first up we have Chime Bank, which is still gonna offer that 1% interest rate, which honestly has remained unchanged in recent months, even though a lot of competitors have been lowering their interest rates. You're also going to have that no fee structure that we've kind of come to expect, which means no minimum balance fees, no monthly maintenance fees, no foreign transaction fees, no overdraft fees, as well as free access to their network of 38,000 MoneyPass ATMs. So Chime has a few different accounts that they offer, which essentially break down to their spending account, which is like a checking account, and their savings account. Again, check out the full review if you do want a comprehensive breakdown of each of these accounts, but these two accounts alone are going to give you access to some really really great features like early paycheck payment, which allows you to get your paycheck up to two days early, the ability to make mobile payments right to your friends right within the mobile application, and even some amazing savings tools such as their Roundup spending option. This is very similar to the Roundup investing feature that we've talked about with Acorns, but basically let's say you go and spend $4.55 on coffee, then they will automatically round up that purchase to $5 and take that extra 45 cents and move that money into your savings account. Essentially, the idea idea here is that you're automatically saving your money. Now, I know this might be a little odd and kind of useless to some people, but at least it is an option for you if you do have difficulty saving your money and you can always turn it off if you don't want to use it. You're also going to be fully FDIC insured up to $250,000 and Chime has some pretty great customer service, which is definitely not at the front of the industry, but you are able to contact them 24 seven through the customer support tab right within the app and also reach out to them through phone or via email. Now, one big big change that they have made since I made the original review on Chime is the Credit Builder account, which is kind of like a credit card, but not exactly. Instead of using a credit card and paying it off at the end of every single month, which is basically short-term debt if you think about it, instead you're going to be able to get a Chime Builder account and move money from your Chime spending account to that card, kind of like a prepaid credit card. From there, you can use that card up to the amount of money that you transferred, and Chime is going to report that payment to the credit bureaus who calculate your credit score. This means that you're able to build up your credit history without actually having to take out an unsecured credit card or any other line of credit, which is really fantastic, meaning you don't actually have to go into debt to build up your credit history. So that is a fantastic feature. And if you are going to get a Chime account, then I would highly recommend that you check this out as well, because this is a great way to build up your credit history if you have no credit history at all, especially if you don't want to open up a traditional credit card yourself. And lastly, you're also going to have access to the Green Dot Reload system, which which allows you to deposit cash at over 90,000 retail locations, which is a really nice transition into the challenger of today's video, which is Varro Bank, who offers the same green dot reload system that allows you to deposit cash at those 90,000 retail locations. Now, Varro Bank is going to offer a slightly more complicated interest rate system, but I promise it is not that hard to keep track of, so let's break that down really quick. First of all, your savings account is going to earn 0.81% interest, which is a little bit lower than the 1% currently offered by Chime. However, you're also going to earn 2.8% interest if you meet certain requirements that I'll explain in a second, but these actually have changed slightly, which makes this a much more attractive option in my opinion. So in order to qualify for that 2.8% interest rate, you first need to make at least five qualifying purchases using your Varro debit card every single month, and you also need to receive at least $1,000 or more in direct deposits every single month. Now, that first criteria should be pretty easy to hit if you are using this card for your regular everyday purchase because it's just five purchases each month. However, that second criteria of a $1,000 direct deposit from your employer is kind of a bummer because I know a lot of you probably aren't getting $1,000 per month in direct deposits. However, it appears that they got rid of the $10,000 cap on the higher interest rate that they used to have. So from what I can tell, it appears that you're able to earn that higher 2.8% interest on all of the money in this account if you do meet those two criteria that we just talked about. But whether you qualify for that higher interest rate or not, 
4.81% is still pretty good. And while it is a little bit lower than Chime, which is offering 1%, remember, it is still a little bit higher than most competitors currently. And as always, I do wanna mention that these interest rates are constantly changing. So depending on when you're watching this video, definitely check out what the current interest rates are. Okay, so beyond that slightly confusing interest rate, Varro Bank is also going to offer the same early paycheck payment, which allows you to get your paycheck up to two days early, and the same no fee structure, which means no monthly fees, no minimum balance fees, no overdraft fees, no foreign transaction fees, and access to their network of 55,000 all point ATMs, which is slightly different than the money pass network that Chime has and is slightly larger. But in my experience, you're able to get an ATM near you depending on where you live, so it doesn't really matter anyways. Varro is also gonna be fully FDIC insured up to $250,000. And I do wanna also mention that Varro did recently receive their national bank charter just a few months ago, meaning they actually are a full bank themselves, whereas many competitors like Chime and SoFi are partnered with other banks who do all of the backdoor work, and they are more of the front end work who's doing the user experience and all of that good stuff. Now, as far as you, the consumer, you're not really gonna see any difference, and I don't want you to think that Chime or any others are fake banks, because the experience to the end user, at least for the time being, is going to be pretty much the same. I did just wanna mention that Varro does have their national bank charter. Varro also has very similar customer service that is seven days per week if you wanna to talk to a real person on the phone, but they also have email support and a pretty extensive FAQ section on their website. But in my experience, Varro and Chime's customer support are honestly just okay and definitely does not stack up against something like Discover, but it's by no means horrible, so nothing to worry about there. Now, similar to the Roundup spending feature that Chime offers that we talked about earlier, Varro is also going to offer two savings tools, which they call the Save Your Pay and the Save Your Change Roundup features, which is the one that's basically like what we talked about earlier with Chime. However, Save Your Pay is going to take a small percentage of your direct deposits into your Varro bank account and automatically transfer that into your savings account, which again is going to allow you to automatically save your money. But if this is a feature that you don't see a lot of benefit in, then that is totally fine and you can just turn it off anyways. They also have their own system called Varro to Varro, which allows you to instantly send money to friends or family. But similar to Chime and many other competitors, it's honestly not that convenient because both parties have to be on the same platform. So honestly, you're probably just better off sticking with a third-party platform like Venmo or one of the competitors who has partnered with something like Zelle that allows you to basically send or receive money from any bank account here in the US. Okay, so as you can see, these two banks are very, very similar across the board. And other than the credit builder account that Chime is now offering, almost every feature is exactly the same. Obviously, the interest rates are slightly different with Chime offering that flat 1% interest rate and Varro offering 0.81% to start and then that higher 2% 2.8% if you meet those qualifications that we talked about earlier. But for the most part, they're in the same ballpark. So I'm sure you're wondering which one of these accounts is best for you. And that's a very difficult question. And as usual, it's going to depend on what you look for in your bank and which mobile platform you prefer. Both of these companies are obviously entirely online banks. So they have invested a lot of time and money in their mobile platforms. But I will say personally that I find Chime's platform a little bit more intuitive and easy to use. And Chime is definitely a larger company with a lot more members. So they do have a slight edge there in that regard. So at the end of the day, I would honestly honestly encourage you to try out both of these accounts because they are just so similar across the board. And honestly, there isn't one feature that makes one stand out from the other. Now, with that in mind, I will say as someone who has used both of these platforms for a little while now, as far as the mobile platform goes, I do prefer Chime just a little bit more, but I also like the higher interest rate that Varro offers if you do meet those qualifications. So for that reason alone, I think personally, I would go with Varro in this battle. But again, it's going to depend on what you are looking for in your mobile bank. Now, I will mention that there are some links down in the description below for Chime and some other great financial tools that will give you $50 for free when you open a Chime account and set up that direct deposit and some other great financial tools that I absolutely love. So if you do want to take a closer look at your personal finances, then definitely check out those links down below. So let me know down in the comment section below if you would pick Chime or Varro in this battle and what other banks you would like to see go head to head in future videos. As always, if you did enjoy today's video and you want to help support me, then it would mean a lot if you would hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and share this video with someone who you think could benefit from this content as well. And as always, thank you so much for your time. I really do appreciate it. Take it easy, and I'll see you in the next one.